Hello guys, so today I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I plan to do with the house. Um, as you can see we're on the Surviving the North server. There is a flying creeper over there. Because Geordie thought it would be a good idea to change some of the mods. So we've gone from the Blood Moon mod to more of a Feed the Beasts ultra hard mobs mod. And they are a pain in the butt. So I believe some of you guys have seen my little farm, my sheep, my cows, my little orchard in previous videos. But today I'm going to explain what is happening to the house. Also in previous videos you may have seen like a uh, mob spawner on the top of this uh, hole that's in the middle of my house. Uh, that has now gone because with the new mod that Geordie put in... Uh, some of the zombies can become rather tall, as in, see that tree right there? There is a zombie spawn that was three times taller than the tree. His head was literally in the clouds. So, sadly, that would not be able to fit my mob spawner, and I actually had one try and fit in my mob spawner, and it was very funny. Uh, see picture on screen now. So, plan with the house. So this is the house, this is the general layout. Um, I'm going to keep this because I think I might have an idea for it. Uh, and everything gets fed through uh, via the um, uh, item collector at the bottom, then up here to uh, through an item elevator all the way up to the top, and then goes around the edge on the outside, so all under here, and then over to these boxes for now. Also, I've put in the same system from my fishing farm all the way around and into the same same feed oh that was the maid uh, if you want to say hello to the maid this is the maid say hello hello the maid so open these squares I was thinking about having a beetroot farm and then maybe a carrot farm or potato farm I've actually got a couple of potatoes over at the farm already that I'm just gathering up someone put some stairs over there they've been there since I moved in and this bit here was a test for my mob farm. It was the first one that I did, the big one, that was up there. Oh, got fiery spider up there. Um, for the big one that I did, first of all, for the big mob spawner. Uh, but that didn't turn out too well, so I changed it to a smaller version of a mob spawner. Uh, sorry, not mob spawner, but a mob farm. And that didn't work too well with the new mod pack. So that had to go, so we're just going to go for the standard house. So This is how big the house is going to be. I've got some item chests over there just for safekeeping that's just full of wood from the orchards. Because as you can see, the house is going to be spruce. Uh, this little section here is going to remain as is, because this has got the, uh, uh, the emergency elevator out of here in case mobs spawn and I can go down the bottom. Uh, and I was going to take that out. I don't know what to do with this area. I was going to fence it off, make it look pretty. Have a little garden that overlooks the sea. And that will be about it. So, as you've been watching this video, you've probably noticed the uh, time lapse in the top corner of me building the uh, first mob spawner. So, it just shows you how long it took me to do this hole and how long it took to build up and make the mob spawner. But uh, it goes all the way down. So, if I press this button. Whoop, Express elevator down to the bottom, and here's the item system. You can hear the um, hopper clock in the background here. This is used to kick out the items into the item elevator and go all the way up to the top. I'm in the, I'm kind of in the middle of building steps down into this section because I know I've got the item elevator, but I need steps to get back up. Because at the moment I'm using my old mining system to get back up. So if I run across here, let's have some bread on the way up. I think go a bit faster so these are the old stairs that went down into the mine Ooh. and it kicks us out on like level level three or four level one what top first second third yeah th so the third level and we've got stairs that go up that's uh the stairs back down to the mine and the stairs continue up on the next level as you can see up there so it went through the mine as you saw in the little time-lapse video you had in your top corner 
And then I was going to make them too wide, but I can't go too wide past here because that's my drop elevator. So I'm going to do stairs that come down here, turn around, and then go down this area and have like little landings like this at the end of each section. And this entire area will be glassed off down this side where the stairs are. And then the far end will be glassed off. But I can feed hoppers around the back. And then I'm going to have kind of this area as an item storage area going all the way down. A little bit like Mumbo Jumbo, but I'm nowhere near as good as him at Redstone, but I'll give it a try. Um, the other thing I was going to do was extend out the farm a little bit. Because I'm going to be getting some more animals or I'll go get some piggies and stuff. And I want to separate my sheep out into their colours. You can see I've got grey and white in there. But I want to get some other coloured sheep to start doing carpet and stuff. And extend it out this way. Put in some more lights because mobs are spawning everywhere around here. And I was going to, over in that direction, I put a little sign up over the hill. Uh, right next to kind of like an open water section. And I would like to build a huge shipyard, like a proper modern shipyard. Because you've got the old ships over by Geordie's house. But I was going to do some modern ships and cruise liners and stuff like that and do some builds of them. So that's the plans for the house. Uh, well, the area of the house. The house, I think, will be two stories with a, a nice roof. Uh, I can have a large kitchen, stuff like that. Uh, enchanting table when I get around to finding one as you can see I've only got five levels at the moment this is because the uh, mobs are so hard and they've all got like enchantments and stuff on them so I came across a zombie you hit it the zombie goes invisible which is not good at all uh, you, as you saw earlier you've got the floating creepers you've got stacks of spiders like 10 spiders high you try and kill them all the other spiders scatter and then all come after you uh, You've got giant zombies, uh, you've got skeletons that shoot at you, knock you back 20 plus squares and take half your health even though you've got diamond armor on. So yeah, this server is rather hard. So, thank you Geordie for letting me on here. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> but yeah, getting all this stuff sorted, I'm going to put glass over this so you can see items pop up just to make sure it's working. But yeah, I'm going to separate these out into sections, rooms, make it look nice, and I will be getting on to building my house. I've been meaning to do it for absolutely ages, but I will get around to doing it, and it will be a lovely house. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all are well, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.